Greetings to Italians. It's me, Gordon. So, I hear there's a lot of money to get to Burger King by doing story time. So, that's where I went in to this book and saw this bad boy. And it's by Thomas and Friends. It's called Percy's Chocolate Crunch and the and other Thomas to Take Engine stories. So yeah, it's pretty So yeah, it's pretty much Thomas and Friends ish. So you so I heard that Mr. Mattel has made lots of money over the past few years. So, 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 um, I'm going to try to get this, to, let's go ahead and read it. One roughly time, bringing it down later. Okay, as you can probably see, I put this up just for indication or maybe, anyway. Anyway, let's get to the back. We have the same stinking logo. And then it's with bunnies happily reading. So yeah, let's... Okay. Uh, let's open. Ugh. Okay, let's just open it. Alright. Uh, hold on. I gotta get it open. <laughs> Alright, so we got it open. So, hopefully. Alright. Percy's Chocolate Crunch. Sir Tom Hat's engines love being shiny and clean. It makes them feel cheerful as they pop across the island of Sodor. Percy often has dirtiest work to do, but likes to, as well as any other engine washes now, are important too, Percy. But Sir Topham Hat had to got bad news. <sighs> Due to a water shortage, he said, wash down, no engine shall wash more than one wash down gale day. Useless engines Useless and useless before cleanness, he added, and left. Percy was upset. I get dirty, he complained. I need, I need, I'm, I am important, Gordon. I need washdowns, Gordon. Only did, Gordon only does it to be important. I am important, Gordon sniffed. I'm an express engine. You're a pouty puffer. Percy, you're a pouty puffer. Percy teased James. No, I'm not, Te wished Percy, and he chuffed away. Anywho, back to the story. Percy was loading freight cars as the docks. He was trying extra hard to stay being naughty. 
As Percy pushed them under the coal box, Percy cried himself under the chute, and dust flew every coal dust flew everywhere. Oh no, cough, Percy! I'm filthy. Percy felt, but but he knew to carry on on the way to. Colin Station, the trucks tease Percy every more. Clickety clack, don't look back. Dirty Percy's on the track. Don't call me Be dirty quiet, dirty. said Percy. Don't. Anywho, Harold was looking forward to uh, chocolate stuff. So when Percy arrived at Colin Station, he was very upset. From now on, I am only doing work where I won't get dirty. Harold the helicopter was at the cabinet station, picking up his blow cinders and ashes everywhere. Not again, cried Percy. Now I want a wash down. Useful before cleanest, reminded his driver. I won't be useful where I can get dirty. There's a lot of load of sugar going to the chocolate factory. The driver said we could take the sugar cars. Sugar cars. Sugar, said Percy. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating sugar. No, Papa. Telling my still pop up open wide. Ah, ah. Anywho, there's a lot of load sugaring into the chocolate factory, said his driver. We could take the sugar car. Oh, wait. Hold on. Here we go. Percy didn't know that. <laughs> An early leader freight car had been spilled all over the tracks. When Percy approached the chocolate factory, his his driver and employed the buffers put Percy wheels just slid only. Oh no! Shoot, Percy! Yuck! He groaned. I've never been this dirty and we're not gonna read that part uh okay back at the sheds everyone thought it was funny you look good enough to eat thomas hooted bomb bomb percy teased james chocolate chocolate ice on wheels chipped in henry Disgraceful, said Gordon popularly. Ahem, said the fat good troll. Oh my god! Anywho, um, we're just gonna skip and skip. Oh yes, sir, and yeah. You know what? Maybe this was a bad idea. We'll go back to selling soda. Hope you enjoyed. Wait, Thomas, you're working at Burger King? Yeah. Anyway, what do you want? Uh, I don't really know. Well, you gotta order something. Oh, uh, I like all your waffles. Okay. Um, are you sure you want waffles? Yeah, just give it waffles. Okay.